All right, in the car here with Mike, heading out to Laguna Beach, gonna do a camera test. So, you know, talked a lot about the Phantom 3 versus the Phantom 4. You know, there's a lot of discussion, you know, which camera's better, you know, hey, the sensor's the same, you know, the lens is supposed to be better. Um, you know, is it, is it not? Is it the same, is it better? Who knows? So rather than doing this whole rumor mill thing and, you know, guessing and stuff like that, I just take them out and shoot them. So we're gonna take the Phantom 3 Professional and we're gonna take the Phantom 4 and we're gonna shoot exactly the same shot in the same light at the same time. And then just to make it more interesting, I've got the Inspire 1. I'm gonna pop that up with the X3 camera on there. And I'm also gonna shoot the same thing. Um, the Inspire 1 will be different because it's a little bit um, of, a, of a longer lens, so it won't be quite as wide. So I'll try and frame it similar. But I figured the best way to do this is to frame the shots and get a very similar photograph at the same time. So the way to do that is I'm gonna fly all three of the drones at the same time. All right, we just arrived at the beach. I found a good spot there, a nice open area. So we're we gonna set up. All right, so the minute you've got three drones, you've got a lot of gear. get a fresh battery not that one perfect fully charged huge iPad uh, so this iPad is not even gonna sit on the controller properly because it's so freaking huge here now as you see this iPad will not fit no fit toe so I'm just gonna have to balance it on there all right so let's get the inspire one set up Got a good battery on there. It's a bit of a beast, isn't it? The whites go on here. Then what we're gonna do with this, is I'll turn it on, let it start warming up. This one we're gonna pop up a little bit so I can get the, uh, put the camera on. Up you go, camel. Yeah, that's nice. That's Essentially, we've got everything set up now. I've got all my copters set up. I've got all the FPV devices on all the controllers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fire these up, and then we're going to get them in the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the one that has the most battery to the one that has the least battery. And of course, the Phantom 4 will fly the longest. So let's get this Phantom 4 up in the air. Okay, so we got the Phantom 4 up in the air. Let's get the Phantom 3 up in the air. And in fact, let me record video. And let's get the Inspire 1 up in the air. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too So what I want to do now is I want to see if I can do a camera shot. So I'm going to fly out a little bit. And I'm going to flip around here with the Inspire. And I'm going to find a shot. All right, that is looking good. So I'm going to take that photograph in a second. Now I'm going to grab the Phantom 3. I'm going to go line up, get the same shot.
All right, let's do it. Line up this shot, see if we can get a similar shot here. All right, we're gonna grab the Phantom 4 and we're gonna go out and get the same shot. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a photograph of the beach. This one here. Take the same photograph. Let's take a cup up a good measure. And now we're going to go to the Inspire One. And take a picture. All right, so you got a Phantom 3, 4, and an Inspire One in the air at the same time. Awesome. So let's have a look, see if I can grab a little video of the other two, just for fun. What I'm on right now is I'm on the Phantom 4. 66% battery. There we go, you can see the Inspire up there. Where are we at on the Inspire? 66% and we're at 78% on the Phantom 3. So we're good for batteries. When you want to get off that darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Coming home, let's land them. Okay, Phantom 4 coming in for a landing. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chuck. Hey, Chuck. All right, thank you, Chuck. Turn you off. Let's bring in the Phantom 3. This is a Phantom 3 Pro and this is Leonardo. Hey, what's up, Leo? Thank you, Leo, for your participation. And finally, here's my little baby here. I'm bringing home the Inspire and this is Casper. So Casper's a little different. I gotta lower the landing gear on Casper, but let's bring him down. Drop the landing gear. And... And that's Casper. So that's how you fly three drones at once. And also we're gonna have a look at the camera check because I've taken pretty much the same photo with them all. So now we can compare the photo because they're all taken. Same location at the same time, so the lights are the same, so it's a good comparison. All right, so let's load her up. This is by one on my back. Channel three, channel four. What's the garbage? Oh, really? Shit, you're not leaving? Oh, too late. I heard, what were you filming? Uh, nothing, really. Nothing, just yeah. for fun. Yeah. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> All right, so that was fun. Um, got to fly the three drones there. Um, you got to meet them all, so now you know the whole family. So that's Casper, Leo, and Chuck. And uh, we're gonna compare the footage when I get back home. We're gonna dump the cards and I'm gonna have a look at the photos and see if they the same, are they different? Is one better than the other? And I'll upload them onto my site so you can have a look and download them for yourself, um, unedited raw files, and just check them out, see what you think, see if you like them or not. So anyway, just uh, for those who are worried about, you know, hey, I'm being reckless and stuff like that. I kept the drones at a very low altitude. We were around about 50 feet the whole time. I kept them quite far apart, except for when I was flying them together. But the thing is, I didn't fly them above people or above property or anything like that. They were actually flying above the ocean the whole time. So had something gone wrong and had a collision or whatever, it would have been my loss. I would have lost my drones. They would have gone on in the ocean. No one would have been harmed or injured. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in lieu of me forgetting to turn on Osmo, there will be no Osmo footage today. <laughs>